Hey, what's up, guys? Happy Tuesday. Hope you had a great, great weekend, uh, Labor Day weekend. Um, so anyway, I am back to it. We have a full schedule, and actually, I have a special guest with me. This is Mrs. Raquel. She's from Dallas, Texas. She owns a uh, cleaning company um, in Dallas, Texas, and she actually was one of my students that came out to my Omaha class last year, and she's doing a ride-along with me today. Um, and tomorrow and I'm very impressed because Raquel knows how to use a buffer and she said she's been using a buffer for over 20 years so anyway guys we're in um where are we he said flyer branch but it's more like yes yeah, flyer branch we're in flyer branch new client found me online sent me pictures I even I never even came and looked at the floor uh, this is a rental property he's putting it on the market just to rent it out he did not want to invest a lot of money into the floor he did some research and he said Courtney your screen to recoat process is perfect for what I want um, so we're doing about 700 square feet screen to recoat let me show you guys what we're doing okay so again um, we got a gloomy day today so we're out here um it's a small home and um yeah we're just going to do a simple screen of recoat so we got the living room area i'm going to be going with a satin finish make it look more natural this floor right here this hallway this room right here and there's mrs raquel <laughs> Well, I tell you guys, I'm very impressed because I've never seen a woman uh, use a uh, <laughs> a buffer, and yeah, she basically knows what she's doing. So she wants to add. She's going to add this service. She's already bought this machine and some of the other tools that I use. And uh, yeah, guys. So uh, so that's what we're doing. And then um, we're gonna go ahead and knock this out. And then um, we're gonna be tomorrow. I, uh, we have a job in Cobb County, Smyrna. Um, ladies moving into a house, and uh, we're going to be doing floors. And I got um, consultations this week. I got like six consultations, and um, just got a great, great productive week. And then we also got to go back to the job that we started last weekend in um, Praxville, Alabama, and finish that job. <clears throat> and um, yeah, so all right, guys, stay tuned. Knocking the old finish off? Uh -huh. You're doing good. Walk all the way inside our closet? Yes, ma'am. Very impressed. I'm very impressed. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, it's fine, yeah. Uh -huh. How long have you been using a buffer? Uh, 20 plus years. 20 plus years, wow. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Nice. So that's what I say. I'm going to say first that I can use it. Okay. Yeah, we'll find out what you're talking Miss Raquel actually screened the whole floor down by herself. When I say I'm very impressed, I'm very impressed because I've never seen that in my uh, 20 plus years in the industry. Um, so we got a nice screening on the floor. Now we're vacuuming. All right, guys. All right, guys. Now we Stay are tuned. clean and tacky. Uh, using my favorite neutral cleaner, Squeaky Clean. Actually, Raquel knows about Squeaky Clean. Yeah. Yep. So this this is a very popular um, cleaner in the uh, cleaning industry. 
Um, you have a lot of nutri cleaners, and don't, and don't get me wrong, guys. Um, this is what I recommend to my clients. Um, but there are other good nutri cleaners. Zep makes a good one. Um, but the one thing I like about Squeaky Clean, it is the only nutri cleaner that they put alcohol in it, so it flashes off really fast. Um, but usually with nutri cleaners, um, they don't they don't leave any type of residue because they're at a neutral state so even when it dries there's nothing left um, now I have had a few times where my clients have used squeaky clean after my recommendation recommendation and they say well Courtney now that I clean my floors I see footprints and my floors feel sticky well the reason why they did not use a brand new uh, microfiber um, mop they used one that was pre-used or it was washed in the uh, wash machine and it had a lot of detergent in it. Um, and when they cleaned it, the detergent released on the floor. So squeaky clean or any nutri cleaner should not, okay, uh, leave your floor sticky residue um, when you're seeing footprints. All right, guys, I'm gonna put the vacuum up. Um, now I'm getting the uh, roller, uh, trim pad, and our pro coat right, ready. Guys. We got the finish Pro going down. Yeah, Pro coat. There you go. I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. I do it really light. Is yep. And that's flip it. Yeah, flip, flip the uh, roller. Like this? No, no, no. Like this one. You go against the wall. Flip it this way. Oh, okay. So you get closer. Like that. So we've already got this room coated. Right. There you go. Perfect. There you go. Alright guys, Raquel is uh, coating her first floor. She actually did a little bit at the uh, Omaha class, but it wasn't, again, those classes are not, they're not real world. Um, so we're using um, Pro Coat. Yep, there you go. Perfect. There you go. Yep. Perfect, nice. All right, guys, we just got back from lunch. Me and Raquel just went to Firehouse. This is the uh, first coat. The floors look so much better, so much better. So Brian is actually walking through now. Right. Perfect option for a rental property. What you think, Brian? Looks good. Thank you. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and get the uh, second batch uh, made up and um, be heading back to the office, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks again for watching.